You've probably heard about the great resignation that's going on around the world. People leaving their jobs in droves as never before. Yeah, the pandemic has a lot to do with it, but there's a lot of other factors that are there, and there's some really golden opportunities for you as an entrepreneur. And that's what we're talking about on this episode of Agorapreneurs. Welcome to Agorapreneurs, standing for liberty and freedom, all done peacefully. Now, here is your guide, Terry Brock. Welcome aboard to Agorapreneur, is a place where we talk about freedom and liberty. We're, we're talking about the live and let live lifestyle, all done peacefully. The idea of entrepreneurs, that's the preneurs part of it, and the Agora style, which is freely interacting with others, peacefully doing that. We're going to talk about that here, on, particularly as it relates to the great resignation that's going on right now. I mean, this is going around the world. When I first heard about it, I thought, this is really interesting because it's something that on entrepreneurs really have been f- f- talking about and doing for a long time. We're seeing that there's many, many things that are going to be available for that, and how it works is going to be enormous. Matter of fact, one of the things that's helping us as our new sponsor here is Video Rockstars. This is a group that my partner Gina Carr and I are in. You can go over there and you'll see that over there the uh, uh, URL Video Rockstars and that stars with a Z. You might want to get a screenshot of that real fast and then bounce over there afterwards. But we talk about how people can be entrepreneurs using video to generate more business and get a lot more done. So bounce over there and take a peek at that. And of course that's our sponsor. That'd be me and Gina Carr, my partner. So we want to help out on that. But by the way, the thing of what's going on with uh, the Great Resignation really has a lot to do with entrepreneurship, that people want to do that. When you think about it, being an entrepreneur is the way that most of society has been for a long time, for many, many years. It's only in the last 100, 150 years that we saw more people leaving their farms, doing things on their own, and going into a city where they would work in a thing called a factory and they would do that. Well, ultimately, life got a lot better. I would say it would be reasonable to assume that our lives are much better today than they were, say, a thousand years ago when people were living to the ripe old age of maybe 30 and getting lots of disease that we've now conquered. And a lot of that came about because of the Industrial Revolution and the creativity and the wonderful people that came up with, you know, what to do and how to do it. But now we're seeing, I think, a wonderful sign that people are going back to that and leaving. The great resignation is just kind of signaling, hey, this is what's happening. Matter of fact, there have been several articles that have come out recently. I wanted to cite with you and show you and let you get a chance to benefit from. These are articles that uh, are from different places. Here's one, for instance, from the World Economic Forum that I was looking at. What is the great resignation? And an expert explains. Well, this is a really important thing. They say it's a phenomenon uh, that describes record numbers of people leaving their jobs after the COVID-19 19 pandemic ends. And matter of fact, we thought it was going to end. And it looks like, well, maybe it's not going to end. It's one of those things that we thought it was over. And then we see that these other variants come back. So we go, eh, I don't know what we're going to do. And it's really causing a whole lot of havoc in the world. But there's a lot of opportunities for entrepreneurs with this too. When you look at it, they say that companies now have to navigate the ripple effects of the pandemic and reevaluate how to retain talent. That talent is going to say, well, adios. And they talked to a lady named Dr. Isabel Welp, or is that Welpy? I'm not sure, but explains that we can learn from this recent trend in the workforce. I love this article. I'd encourage you to take a look at it. And from the World Economic Forum, it's got some really good ideas. And it says it's given a rise, an idea proposed by Professor Anthony Klotz of Texas A&M University that predicts a large number of people leaving their jobs after the COVID pandemic uh, ends and life returns to, in quotes, normal. Oh, yeah, right. That's going to (laughs) happen. It's going to go back to normal. We're creating our own new normal all the time. And so we've got to look at how does this affect us? What's going to happen? Well, they go on to say some things that are really happening here taking place. We're seeing that resignation rates are higher among mid-career employees. Okay, that's interesting to know. And resignation rates are highest in the technology and healthcare industries. Okay, you entrepreneur, think about that and what that means. That means there's going to be some real opportunities because people are going to need training. They're going to need to learn some new skills. And you, as a content creating entrepreneur, a content creating agorapreneur, you're going to be able to provide that. And that'll give you new students, new people who are buying what you're doing. 
Yeah, you're going to have to study. You're going to have to learn some new things, but uh, you'll be able to get a lot more done with it. This article goes on to talk about what what is happening and where it is and how people are using this, um, working the workforce. And uh, I think she said some really interesting things to say here. She said, the study of organizations is fascinating because many things we hold dear are the result and product of organizations and leadership therein. When things don't work out, when services fail or products lack a certain quality, it's all the result of organizational failure. And now what's happening is technology development usually moves in waves and we will soon witness the dawn of a decentralized economy that enables a blockchain-based way of makers and creators directly interacting with customers and users without the need to go through platform companies and intermediaring intermediaring firms. That's a good one to say. DAOs, you've heard about that. Decentralized autonomous organizations with the next stage of organization in the decentralized economy. We've been talking about this with crypto for a long time. So you entrepreneur, you agorapreneur, start thinking about crypto and what you can do. Learn it. Embrace it right now. I'm not making any financial recommendations here, but I am making some strong educational recommendations. Study it. Learn it. You've seen the other videos. We've got a bunch of other really good videos on what cryptocurrency is, what blockchain is, how you can start using that, and the kinds of features that are available with that, and what can happen in that in many different ways. Now, you also want to take a look at some other things. I was looking over here in another uh, example, another article. This is from the Wall Street Journal, where they said that jobs at a record number of jobs, uh, people are leaving jobs at a record number. Here, let me position this on the screen so you can see a little bit better. Workers quit jobs at a record level in November. This is as of November 2021, and we're seeing they're leaving, getting out of there, that people are, quit, are quitting their jobs at a record rate in November, while job openings stay close to highest level ever levels. So we're seeing the job openings there are co uh, coming available, and they can't find enough workers. We're going to have to change. And you know what? I see that as a great opportunity. We're going back to the way that our ancestors lived, not necessarily working for the man or the factory. Well, there, there is a place for that. But we're going to see many people, they're going to be entrepreneurs and doing it on their own. They are embracing this and going into it. And so, again, that's opening up all kinds of possibilities for entrepreneurs who can say, hey, these people are going to need some extra training. They're going to need to know about this. You can launch an online course. We're doing that right now. Gene and I have our fun your freedom accelerator course that we train people how to be entrepreneurs and to how to make serious money with it being able to get out there and work for it so there's a lot of good things happening there and i think as the article went on to say here let me make this a little bit larger for you the labor department on tuesday said there were 10.6 million job openings hey that's a lot at the end of november a decrease from 11 million prior month. Okay, they've got a little bit more here, still, but still, that's a lot. The total number of quits reached 4.5 million after slightly falling in October from the previous month. The quit rate was 3% up from 2.8% in the prior month and returning to a record rate last seen in September. So this is happening right now. People are making a shift, a real shift, not just in a few little minor things, but in a way that we're thinking. I think we're going to see more and more people thinking like entrepreneurs, even if they work for another company. And that's a good place for that, too. People will say, well, I own this department. That's what they're thinking in their mind. I'm in charge of this. I'm in charge of this product. I want to get it done. And they need training. They need help on this and how to do it. And as an entrepreneur, you can help them with that. You can show them the kind of things that are available and what's going to happen and the benefits that are out there for them doing it that way. Here's one more article I wanted to share with you that was on, whoops, let me get over here to the right place on this. And we'll see that there's uh, some options there that I was looking at the Harvard Business Review. When I saw the capabilities there and what was available, I thought, okay, this has got some real nice features here as well. And here's an article from the Harvard Business Review. What, who is driving the great re resignation? A lot of this going on here. And as they take a look at it, it was Ian Cook that wrote this uh, particular article. I thought it was interesting to see what they're saying here. In the summary, the last several months have seen a tidal wave, whoa, that's an important phrase, of resignations in the U.S. and around the world. What can employers do to combat what's being called the great resignation? The author shares several key insights from in-depth analysis of more than 9 million, let's click here to get more, employee records at 4,000 global companies and offers a three-step plan to help employees take a more data-driven approach to retention. And I think that's important. The author here makes a lot of 
um, an analysis of what's going on. I think very astute uh, analysis as well as we look at what's going on and what's happening with it because we're seeing uh, some interesting, let me position this on the screen a little bit better for you there. There, addressing the root causes of these staggering statistics starts with better understanding them. That usually is a way to do it. To explore exactly who's, who has been driving this recent shift, my team and I, this is the author speaking, conducted an in-depth analysis of more than 9 million employee records from more than 4,000 companies. So they found out some things that were interesting here, that the resignation rates are highest among mid-career employees. And hey, that's interesting because that'll tie back into what we were hearing from the other studies from the World Economic Forum, that this is where they are. So think about your target market and how you can design for that level, people that are at that age, you'll be able to start helping them in some profound ways on that. So the resignation rates are highest there in that age group. Also here, the second one, resignations are highest in the tech and healthcare industries. Well, there we are again. We heard that before. And that's a couple of industries where you want to start thinking, what are these people going to need in those areas? What kinds of help are they going to need? And what can we do? Well, to do that, to handle it, they said that employers must take a data-driven approach to improving retention. First, you got to quantify the problem. So look at things like the number of separations per year divided by the average total number of employees. That's your turnover rate. <clears throat> look at what that is and determine the impact of resignations. Help people on that. Because, see, here's another option for entrepreneurs. What you can do is go into those companies where there are people that are thinking about resigning, but give them the training that they need in the form of in-person training, online courses, online courses that go over a period of time. All of that can be very, very helpful and can do well. Identify the root causes. Find out what's going on. Why is it that people are saying, I'm out of here? Not just because there's a pandemic, but it could be a lot more as well. And number three, develop tailored retention programs. So tailored is the real key there because that's really what we want. People want a work schedule that works for them. They sometimes want to be at home and get work done if they're a knowledge worker particularly. And you think, why do we have to go through all the stuff of working at a, a, a company? You've got to drive all the way in. You got that commute time there and back could be 30 minutes, an hour or longer in many places. You've got to contend with traffic, you got to contend with all the costs of maintaining your car because you're going in there more often. You got to worry about the clothes. You got to always dress up the right way you do at the office and all those kind of things. You got to be there on time. You got to be there for when they have uh, somebody, Myrtle's uh, daughter is selling some stuff down the hall. So you got to buy some cookies or something from them. All of those costs go into this part of being a having a job. And then at any moment, you're gone because they decided they need to lay you off versus if you call your own shots, being an entrepreneur, you can do a whole lot more. So these are some things to consider. And I would like you as an entrepreneur to start thinking about, okay, hey, what can I do to turn this around? And one of the ways you'll be able to, have to get the information you need is by subscribing. We want you to do that here because you're going to get information about freedom and liberty. You're going to find out about what's going on. And hey, it'll also help algorithms that are built into the two platforms like Facebook and YouTube and others, particularly YouTube here, that will say, hey, there's a lot of people interested in that live and let live lifestyle. And if you want to get some more information on that, we can help you out as well here. We've got 20 with Terry. It's where you get 20 minutes of consultation that for 10 minutes, you talk about your questions, what it is you need to know, what you would like to do, who you are, where you are. And then I'll take 10 minutes and help you with some specific concrete answers that you can use. There's no charge for this if you qualify. You qualify for this, just submit the application there at 20withterry.com. That's 20WITH, and Terry is T E R R Y. So 20withterry.com. You apply for that. And I've just, matter of fact, just this week, working with some people that want to get involved in some ways do, using that. We did the 20 with Terry, and they're doing some marvelous entrepreneurial activities. I've done that for many others. And there might be a place for that for you. But what you want to do right now is think about here's where our world is. It's at a time that has some wonderful opportunities. When we see the great resignation of people moving beyond that, we're going to see some excellent opportunities for many entrepreneurs. So that is what it's all about with a great resignation. There's some really good opportunities for entrepreneurs who say, hey, they're going to need some help in this. Here's how I can develop products and services to help them. Think about that. And I wish you lots of continued success in your journey.
Hey, don't stop now. We've got a lot more videos out there for you about freedom and liberty, living the life of an entrepreneur who believes in live and let live. Matter of fact, here's a way you can make a positive difference in the world. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. That lets the algorithms know, those wacky algorithms know, that hey, people like this kind of thing of live and let live and doing it in a peaceful way. Thanks for being here with us and we're looking forward to hearing from you.